Programmatic advertising is the most complex form of digital marketing. I talked to a lot of advertisers who currently run their campaigns in Google Ads and they want to move to DV360. And they all have one question in common. Will it work for us? And will it make sense for our brand or client to get DV360? I'll tell you more than 10 common benefits of DV360 over Google Ads. And that will help you to understand whether you should go for DV360 or not. Okay, the first one is account creation process. Now, when it comes to Google Ads, it's free to create. Anyone can go ahead and create a Google Ads account. All you need is a Gmail ID and a payment method like a credit card. However, on DV360, it's not that easy. Before you had to reach out to Google, they will check your eligibility like have you spent $500,000 in the last one year in Google Ads. Now all the accounts on DV360 are created by their authorized resellers and all of them check different kind of eligibility criteria. Some of them will ask you to have a minimum spend of $5,000 every month. Some of them will charge a monthly fees and some of them will give it for free of course if you meet their eligibility criteria. This leads us to our second option which is campaign types available in Google Ads and not DV360. Just keep one thing in mind. DV360 does not have everything that Google Ads has. It has a lot of things over what Google Ads can offer. But there are some things that are only available in Google Ads and not DV360. So in most of the cases, you will see all the companies and brands who use DV360, they also use Google Ads. For example, search campaigns, you cannot run search campaigns on DV360. Similarly, UAC campaigns, which is the app campaigns, whether it's engagement campaigns or install campaigns, you cannot run them on Google DV360. There's an option to run app install campaigns, but it's a format, it's not the UAC. Then automated campaigns like Performance Max as well, you can only run on Google Ads as well shopping ads if you want to run shopping ads you have to run it through Google Ads because DB360 does not provide this option the third point is the things the campaign types you can do in DB360 and not Google Ads and this is one of the very important factors for a lot of companies who run DV360 and this is one of the important reasons. For example, there are certain types of campaigns you can run on DV360 and not on Google Ads. The first one is PG deals, which is programmatic guaranteed deals. If you want to set up a programmatic guarantee deal with a publisher, for example, Khalish Times, VBC, you want to have campaign only on their website, you negotiate it with them, you can only do that via DV360. And even if you don't have a negotiated rate with these publishers, via DV360, you can reach out to these publishers, have a deal, have a campaign with only only this particular publisher with the terms and conditions you define and all of that that can be done via Google uh, DV360. The second one is PMP deals which is again a form of programmatic advertising deal. So you basically have these deals with a lot of publishers and whenever you want you bid for them and you can have their inventory. So all the big FMCG brands, all the big brands basically Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Airlines, all of them they are very heavy on connected TV and audio and that's why that's one of the reasons they use DV360. And a lot of companies, financial companies, basically a lot of types of companies that are heavy on native advertising and they only uh, that's one of the reasons they use DV360. Here I want to pause for a minute and say a big thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. Fiverr is a digital freelance marketplace connecting businesses to the most skilled digital freelancers. I've been using Fiverr to grow my business without any hassle and get access to some of the most skilled freelancers across the globe. I recently wanted to upgrade my website design which looked like this and the problem I was facing is it's very difficult to find freelancers who can work on custom websites like mine which is created on a custom LMS platform. I went to Fiverr and found Shihab who is an expert in web design and I saw his packages specific to LMS platform websites and I was so happy. His reviews looked great with 180 completed projects and 4.9 rating and I immediately know that he was the high quality freelancer I was looking for. I requested a discovery call, met up with Shahab on Zoom and explained exactly what I needed. He established a clear timeline for the project and arranged for regular check-ins along the way. It was super easy and now my website looks like this. On Fiverr, you can find skilled freelancers providing services across graphics and design, programming, digital marketing, video, animation, finance, and many other business needs. To get started on Fiverr, click on the link in the description below and use code SENATOR to get 10% off on your first order. Moving on to our fourth point, which is inventory and reach. This is very important as well. When you run go display campaigns on your Google uh, ads or video campaigns on Google ads, they primarily run only on GDN, which is Google Display network which means all the websites who have google tags on their websites who have partnered with google to show ads on their websites however in certain cases when you have huge budgets and your campaigns are not scaling as much as you need to spend or you need to reach out to more audiences you have an audience pool you want to reach out to them and you're not able to do that on google ads that's when you move to or display and video 360 because on dv360 your display and video campaigns can basically show almost on all the 
websites and apps in the world. Choose which exchange you can select all of them. GDN is one of the exchanges, probably one of the biggest, but it's one of the exchanges. And imagine on DV360, the reach kind of explodes. And this leads us to our fifth point, which is audience targeting. Now, this is also a very, very important factor. So for example, on Google Ads, you can reach out to when it comes to audience targeting, you can reach out to first party audiences and Google provided audiences. First party audiences being your audiences from your website, retargeting pixels and all. And when it comes to Google provided audiences, it's the affinity and in-market audiences that Google provides. In DV360, you have access to both of them. And on top of that, you have access to third party DMP audiences, which means there are a lot of DMPs which have very niche targeting. For example, they provide you audiences like people interested in a particular car, people who have a particular monthly income, people who are looking for diverse lawyers and a lot like they have very, very niche targeting and they have very high quality audience data. So if you are such a brand where you need very niche targeting, that is when you move to DV360. Now, they are already, all the big DMPs are already integrated with DV360. When you set up a campaign, you have them available. Obviously, you pay for them as well. Uh, but uh, you can also connect, if you have a DMP seat, you can also connect with the DV360, as well as publisher audiences. For example, if you set up a PG deal or PMP uh, campaign with BBC, you can tell them, okay, I want you to target this campaign to all the business audiences you have. So because these publishers, they have, they collect their own audiences, like based on the website behavior user shows, and that those can be targeted in DV360 as well. So this is very, very important for a lot of uh, advertisers, which kind of move to DV360 for this particular reason. This leads us to our sixth uh, point, which is creative formats. Now in Google Ads, you have access to basic creative formats like display, standard banners, HTML banners, you can upload videos, or in different formats. But in DV360, you have a lot of additional options. The first one is, for example, you can connect your double click studio because a lot of big companies who have huge budgets, they have their teams, they create these creatives in Google uh, double click studio, which means this is a kind of a platform where they can customize, they can scale their creative production and it can be directly integrated with the DV360. In Google Ads, it's very, very difficult and impossible in most cases. DV360 can also use third party tags. What it means is all the big companies, they host all their creatives in the creative servers or ad servers like Campaign Manager 360. And basically how you use those creatives in different uh, campaigns is you generate tags there called creative tags and you use it in DSPs like DV360. You cannot do that in Google Ads because you can only upload the files. DCM integration direct, which is again an ad server, but you have a native integration with uh, DV360, which makes it easy. Then again, there's something called a creative gallery in DV360, which has very amazing formats like the roll on and a lot of like rich media formats, which you can basically, you just upload your assets and it automatically creates these rich media formats for you. A lot of companies basically who are very heavy in creative testing and um, things like that, they use, this is one of the reasons that drives them to DV360 on top of using Google Ads. Basically, they use Google Ads for shopping, search, etc. For all their display and video campaigns, they use DV360. This leads us to our seventh point, which is planning tool. When it comes to planning, planning is a very important aspect of digital marketing. In Google Ads, you have Reach Planner and Keyword Planner, where you can get basic kind of forecasting on keywords, how much money you can spend, how much clicks you are going to get for certain keywords, and Reach Planner as well, if you run this display campaign or video campaign, what is the reach you're going to get but in dv360 you can actually do very advanced uh, campaign planning which means you can put all of your media buys let's say if you have programmatic deals pmp deals open auction youtube all of them together in one plan you can adjust you can see the reach frequency impact on budget and a lot of other things and you can get a holistic view of a certain plan with multiple campaign types that what's the reach what's the frequency and what's the budget and you can play around if i change this if i want a less frequency what is the budget what's the impact on the budget and a lot it's very extensive so if you're a media planner basically it's a very very helpful tool for you and all the big companies who have one campaign which contains basically multiple formats for them it's easier to have a holistic plan and work on a plan based on their kpis and one more thing here is the inventory marketplace which kind of we mentioned before in the pg deals you have access to inventory marketplace where you have all the publishers you can just request a proposal you can add any publisher based on your requirement add it to your plan with multiple other formats and you can just basically create a very very extensive plan so if your company is heavy on different kind of media planning and media buying 
drawing, then it's important for you to use display and video 360, which leads us to our eight point, which is reporting in Google ads. You have very basic reports, like you can generate reports, but they're very basic on DV360. You have extensive reports. like this. There's a huge difference in the reports you can get in DV360 and Google ads. You can generate a lot of active view reports and a lot of metrics even in DV360, which you don't get in the uh, Google ads. So if your company needs reports and on a certain metrics which is not available in google ads and or it's available only in dv360 then it's important for you to move to display and video 360 which leads us to our ninth point which is cross format frequency controls now this is very very important for a lot of companies in google ads basically each campaign type can host one format if you are creating a search campaign you can only have search uh, ads in there so basically if you want to run a particular campaign let's say a summer campaign you have display creatives you have video creatives and youtube as well you have to create two different campaigns and you cannot basically get the frequency and reach reports for uh, together for the campaigns and you have to do that separately but in dv360 you can host multiple formats in one campaign for example you can create one campaign and you can have a pg deal which is display then you can have a pg deal or pmp display which is video then you can have an open auction containing video audio and display then you can have a youtube um, insertion order within this campaign and on the campaign level you can control your budgets on the campaign level you can control your frequency on the campaign level you can keep a track of your overall reach if you are a company who needs to do that who needs to have all these campaigns and control the overall kpi like frequency or reach at a campaign level within the formats automatically adjusted then you need to have display and video 360 and in certain cases it saves you a lot of budget because uh, when you run different campaigns like a video campaign in google ads and a display campaign you have no way you have no way to understand okay what is the average frequency so sometimes you cannot control if you want strictly to control your frequency across all the formats in one campaign you cannot do that in google ads this leads us to our 10th point which is brand safety and ad fraud now in google ads you only have google provided controls which is like the categories of websites and audience types but in dv360 you can do this as well as you can have third-party vendor integrations like is media double verify all of these who have very very extensive controls on brand uh, safety and fraud they even can control that after the impression is bought if it thinks the website is unsafe they can con basically block uh, serving your creative they give you extensive reports on the geo location whether the ads were actually served in a particular geo on a particular device they can tell you if there was a spam impressions and when you are working on a lot of campaigns with a lot of publishers on let's say pg deals pmp deals and other types of campaigns it's very very important for you to understand if there is um, any ad fraud because ad fraud is a big menace in advertising it can never be controlled 100 percent but these third-party vendors they basically control the brand safety and ad fraud to a very very stricter level and this is a very very important factor for a lot of companies this leads us to our 11th point which is actually more multiple points which are more advanced features available in dv360 and not in google ads i have clubbed them the first one is superior custom bidding if you are doing custom bidding google also introduced custom bidding you can do custom scripts up to a certain level but in dv360 it's it's more more advanced line item troubleshooting tool which is a very very useful tool when it comes to the ev360 if you are running campaigns and there's any issue with your campaign the line item is not delivering it's delivering less or any any other problem there's something called line item troubleshooting tool in dv360 which is helpful which exactly shows you how many impressions you were eligible for whether you need to increase your bid if you are eligible what was the rejection reasons what's happening how what percentage is because of the bid what percentage is uh, uh, blocking because of any other reason for example day parting schedule or anything which is very very important and then uh, one more difference is master reservation you can do master reservation using google ads as well basically it will be built your via your google ads but you have to reach out to the account manager i don't know if it's going to change in the future but that's the status now you will have to reach out to your um, account manager they will block it for you if you don't have any creative sometimes you'll still have to pay on dv360 it's easy you can reserve this inventory for mastered from your dv360 account in certain cases even if you miss uploading the creatives they, you will not be charged so these are basically the main differences from google ads and dv360 and i hope it's very clear for you whether moving to dv360 makes sense for your brand or 
client. But just keep one thing in mind. Even if you move to DV360, you'll definitely have to use Google Ads as well. It's just maybe you move your display and video to DV360. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.